State your name for the record, please. Star Manning, I'm Todd Manning's daughter. Ms. Manning, I'm sure this is difficult for you. I'll be fine. Ms. Manning, have you ever felt threatened by your father? Yes, I have. Now, I will admit that my dad and I used to be close. And I never thought that he would be capable of hurting me. But when he found me with Cole, he, he grabbed me and he threw me down the stairs. And from what I heard, when Cole tried to get to me, my dad knocked him out too, and we both wound up in the hospital. Thank you, Miss Manning. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Judge, I know I wasn't summoned, but as Todd's wife, I'd like to make a statement. Tell me that you found him. I was hoping you did. Look, I'm at my sister's. It's Bree's birthday. I thought, I don't know, maybe since he saved Jessica's life with half of his liver, he would show up today. I know it's a long shot, but... Just don't give up. I know he's around somewhere. We'll find him. Yeah. What if we don't find him in time? Well, then everyone we care about pays the price. <laughs> Lost? Because I have to know that's not your room. May I come in or not? It's really not a good time. And you know, you should think about calling first. Oh, for heaven's sake, Dorian. I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Believe me, I don't ever come over here thinking I'm going to have a good laugh. Then get on with it. I need to see Blair, okay? And then I will happily get out. Well, I probably have more history with Todd Manning than anyone in this room. I have been married to him more than once, and we um, actually have two children. But our problems have always started because of his acts of rage and his acts of violence. And I have encouraged him over the years to seek help, psychiatric help. But he always refuses. Although I, I never saw him turn his dark side on his children until now. And now I know that he's never going to change. And that's why I felt I actually needed to say something. Thank you, Mrs. Manning. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Manning? Yes, I do. So when I found my only daughter, who is a child, as you can plainly see, uh, being taken advantage of by Cole Thornhart, I did what I think any decent father would do. I went a little Nazi, I'll admit that, and I did go after him, but I, I just don't know what else. <laughs> I mean, when you, when, you, when you walk in a room and you discover that some sexual deviant is trying to rape your daughter, I don't know what else you would do. And I don't know if you're a father or not, but I, 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 I ask you, what decent father would not go after his teenage daughter if she is run away from home? And then after all that, my wife, I come home and my wife says, I'm not going to allow you to see uh, your children, Star and Jack, anymore. So I did what, again, I think a good father does, and I, and I took the one child uh, on whom she has no claim. Now, you know, I'm guilty of a lot of things in my life, but, uh, you know, if, 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 if I've done anything wrong in this case, it's not because I don't care enough. It's because I think I care too much. I just, I beg you to not to take my son from me. Ms. Rios, I'd like to speak with you and state's counsel, and then I will make a ruling. All rise. Ladies and gentlemen, I have listened to all of the testimony pertaining to the custody of Sam Manning. I've also reviewed the matter 
with the child guardian ad litem who has worked with the Office of Children, Youth and Families for some time and I believe I've made the decision that's in the best interests of the minor child, Sam Manning. I hereby order that the child remain in placement in the custody of children, youth and families and be removed from the care of Todd Manning immediately. I know that Todd is in court today and has something to do with Sam. That's why I need to speak to Blair, okay? Oh, riding to the rescue again. Is there no end to your forgiveness? It's called unconditional love. You might have heard of it. Even unconditional love has its limits. Or aren't you surprised to hear that Todd has abused Star? Oh, perhaps not. After all, the two of you are spawn of Victor Lord. The rotten apple does not fall far from the tree. Okay, don't! Just don't! Of all days, do not mess with me today. You sure are on top of things, Addie. That is not my room. It's Dory's room. But you see... Dorian always steals my exfoliant. I can't get through the day without a good scrub. Now, does Dorian always lock that door? Only when she has something or someone to hide. Well, do you have any idea what or who she has in there? That's not going to work. Try this. Addie, good girl. So, uh, what other tools do you have squirreled away? Wouldn't you like to know? Daddy, please, not while I'm breaking and entering. Never mix business with pleasure. Dory must have upgraded the keyholes since I was last here. I think I'll just ask Dory why she's hiding. Uh, no, uh, Daddy. Don't you have a base jumping class to get to? No, but I do have a lengthy to-do list, and getting intel from my sister has just shot to the top of it. I, well, what do you say? Let's just leave Dorian out of the loop. Do you one. want to exfoliate, or don't you? No, I want to find out who... I want... I want you. You can't take my vineyard away from me. We have an agreement. And the contract states that we reserve the right to develop the property in the most profitable manner. You'll find it on page five, hey, I Don't believe. give me that crap. You told me that I could run the vineyard any way that I saw fit. So long as there is a vineyard to run. But my investors have decided to develop the real estate on which it sits for a much larger return at a much faster rate. What about all that talk about a long-term investment? You made promises. It's business, Mr. Brennan. You knew that when you came to us to buy out Gerard oh Buchanan. My God. You can't take it away. Everything I have is in this vineyard. It's, it's, it's my dream for my family's future. Dreams should be profitable. But they can't be profitable overnight. Now, that's not how the wine business works. You told me that you understood that. I do, but my investors don't. They've given me their final word. They plan to convert the vineyard land into the Mall of Tomorrow. I'll send you the contract. The Mall of... Wait, 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 the Mall of Tomorrow? Please, th there has to be another way. <laughs> Not unless you have the capital to buy us out. <clears throat> you guys want their money back? Consider it done. Couldn't wait to give my favorite niece her birthday gift. Oh. Try to get her a business suit, but they don't make it in her size. So. Well, we'll let her be a princess now and a mogul later. Um, well, we were just heading out to meet Nash at the diner for Bree's birthday lunch, if you want to join us. Okay, sure. Um, so, have there been a lot of visitors for, for my little niece? Hey, just Christian and Sarah, but we're expecting to have a big turnout for Bree's birthday party tonight. After the shareholders' meeting, it is straight to pizza playtime. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait, as long yeah. as I don't have to do the ball crawl. Well, um, you might have to do that for a long time to come. No, I don't think so. <laughs> as long as you or I don't get right. Oh, don't tell me, Jess. I'm pregnant. 